Good morning, Warriors. It's 7.01. Today is Monday. Today's uh, workout is a hurricane-styled workout. Today we're going to focus uh, specifically on uh, anaerobic uh, uh, training today. So we're going to get some decent rest periods for some big muscle groups. And then we're really going to tax the shoulders, back, uh, posterior chain today, abs. It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, we're going to do an EMOM, which we haven't done in a while. At least I haven't done with you guys. So um, that will be fun. And uh, our message for today, or our story for today, is about uh, unity. So the story is about three bulls that live in a field together, and a lion who's prowling through the, the plains and sees these three bulls together in a field. And he's really licking his chops, excited to have some beef. And he starts to prowl around the, uh, the field where these bulls live. And they see the lion. And they, they back into a circle together where they're, 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 their backs are to each other. And their horns are out. And they're, they're in defense mode. And they're, the lion's circling the bulls. And the, wherever, whichever direction the lion looks, the bulls have their horns pointed out. And not wanting to get trampled and, and gored, the lion decides to uh, back off and look for greener pastures, <laughs> so to speak. So uh, the lion comes, comes by uh, every day or so to check on these bulls. And sure enough, every time they see them, they they, they, they have each other's backs and they, uh, they work together to, uh, to keep the lion at bay. And this goes on for a while until the lion sort of gives up and, and um, hunts in other areas. The bulls, meanwhile, uh, they have an argument. They, have, they, uh, they, they get into a fight with, with, with each other about something silly and they separate in a huff and they go, each go to their own side of the field. And, uh, to, to get some distance from one another. And uh, the lion happens to wander by, of course, when this happens, and he sees all the bulls that are separated now. And one by one, the lion goes and picks them all off. And uh, the lion's pretty happy about that because he wanted some beef. But the moral of the story is stick together because together you can overcome the fiercest predators and the most adverse conditions. But by yourself, by ourselves, we're vulnerable. So I'm not saying you're going to get eaten alive, but remember, make sure that you have each other's backs, even when it's uncomfortable. You probably you might be getting a little irritated right now about some members of your family or some of the people that you work with. Uh, remember, we need each other. We need each other for strength. Speaking of strength, let's lift some weights, yeah? All right, we're going to have some fun this morning. It's going to get a little bit challenging today, so we're going to do um, a, a decent warm up so we don't get overwhelmed. All right, so to stretch us out, we're going to do some circles first, or actually uh, some back and forth arm wavy action, stretching the pecs and the biceps. So we're going side to side here. Now we're going to go down and up. So I'm going to go palms facing down, palms facing forward. Stretching out the shoulders. Shoulder circles, we're going small circles forward. Elbows are straight. With the elbows straight, that movement's got to come from the scapula, all those little muscles down there. We're going to get those. Backward circles. Bigger circles. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Hands on the hips. We're going to do neck circles. I'm drawing a circle with my chin. Don't rush this one. Go slowly. We need to warm up that neck. Big, big circle. And then I'm going to reverse the direction. Other side. Now we're out here, arms wide, and we're going to rotate, twist at the waist, and touch our shoes. Just up. Getting those hamstring and glutes warmed up. Come through. be up on one foot, big toe circles. So counterclockwise, and then I'm going to draw big circles with that big toe. Counterclockwise, go the other, other direction. Working on our balance as well. Ah, stamp, crackle, pop. Other side. Circles. Back the other way. Whew. Whew. Ah. Couldn't hold it. A couple more. Loosening up the joints. Now we're going to stretch out those quads. This is a fun one. We're going to come back to this a little bit later in our workout, but for right now, we're going to stretch our, our uh, quad at the same time as we mobilize the ankle of the front knee. So I'm going to be on the ground. I'm going to squeeze my glute here, flatten out that spine, and then I'm going to thrust my knee forward, keeping that heel down of the lead leg. So I'm mobilizing that lead ankle, stretching that ankle while I stretch my quad. And if you're really flexible like me and Steve are, well then you could probably grab your foot and then do this too. So there you go. Again, try not to arch the back too much. Leaning forward. You're going to do about 10 reps on the left. And then you're going to switch sides and do 10 reps on the right. So again, that lead leg, I'm really focused on driving into the heel of that lead leg so that I don't uh, get up on my toe and miss out on that calf stretch, that soleus stretch. 10 reps on the right side too. Open up those hips. Excellent. While we're down here, we're gonna work on that groin with a Cossack stretch. So I'm here, kicking out that leg, sitting on my heel, stretching down, Rocking back and forth, we're going to do 10 reps. Just working on that hamstring and groin. And then I'm going to do 10 reps here. And I'm going to stop at the top. I'm going to lift and tap for another 10. Both of my elbows are going to be locked here. So I'm not rotating at the back, just using that hip to get up high. Nice. Side. 
Nice. 10 reps on the other side. Then we're gonna lift the tap 10 times. And if you find that you're tight on one side or another, you can spend some more time there. Sink into it, identify those muscles that are trying not to give in. Go back through. Back up, lift and tap. Ah, yeah. So we're back up. Now we're going to do some uh, walk around lunges. Double wide stance. Bring my hands down to the inside of my heel. Inhale, reach up. All the way out. Come in. This is one of my favorites because it uses just about everything. Stretches the groin. Opens up the hips, allows you to sink deeper into the lunge and the squat. Uses that upper back. I'm going to go five per side. I'm not in a hurry when I go through this. I'm letting the muscles acclimate to the range of motion. Trying to get from the movements, not get through them. We do one more each side. Ah. So we have two movements with us today. We're gonna to be doing EMOMs, every minute on the minute, with the swings and overhead press. So, I'll demonstrate first the uh, overhead press, uh, because it's the easier of the two. So if you have a kettlebell, and that's what you're using, you could do an overhead press with a kettlebell. And I'm going to rib cage down, glutes on, Reach up, biceps are going to be by the ears. There you go. So, you're going to go five reps in the overhead press. And if you have dumbbells, that's okay too. Neutral grip, legs locked, pressing overhead, glutes on. Just warming up that upper back, the shoulders, getting ready. So, do a few reps. I'll show you how to make it more challenging. If you have light weights, you can make it more challenging inside of the workout, and I'll show you how. But uh, we're going to work on our swings now. So we're going to be doing these back to back with the overhead press with very little rest. So we want to get really tight and good at them. So we're going to warm up that hinge position I'm gonna be standing in front of my kettlebell or my dumbbell, whichever I'm swinging, and my chest is gonna be up, my butt's gonna be back, so I'm sinking my butt backwards, touching the handle, driving the hip forward. Notice when I reach my butt back, I'm not arching my back, I'm keeping it pretty flat, and then squeezing my butt cheeks to really drive the hips forward. We're gonna do 10 reps here. My toes are pointed out barely, maybe 10, 20 degrees at the most, Really working on that ability of my hip to drive forward. Once you get 10 reps in, you're gonna stand over the kettlebell. And now, it's closer to you, so you don't have to go as far. So I'm gonna reach my butt back, and then I'm going to pick the weight straight up, driving my hip forward. Straight back, driving the hip forward. Boom. And what I want you to feel while you're doing your reps is shoulders are 
coming away from the ear, so you're anti-shrugging. You're not up, you're down. You're really helping those lats stay active the whole time. Butt back, driving the, everything forward. Boom, 10 reps there. So, the butt's warmed up, got that hinge pattern warmed up. Now we're going to warm up our, 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 our bodies all together. We're going to practice the first swing. So, my butt's back, my chest is up, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to tuck my shoulders down towards my hip, and then I'm gonna pitch, explode, and then I'm gonna let the kettlebell come back to where it started. So I'm sitting down, shoulders, anti pulling everything away from the ears, locking in those lats, pitching to the groin, standing up, setting it down. I'm gonna do 10 reps that are one at a time. And every rep is a chance for me to get better at activating my lats from the beginning of a swing because I'm tossing that kettlebell at my groin to get started. If you're at home and you're doing uh, dumbbell swings or squats, then just keep getting reps in. Give me 10 practice reps. Bam. Butt down, Heather, or I'll end you. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Okay, so got the pattern warmed up, muscles warmed up, everything's warmed up. We're gonna do a sample, a sample set. We're gonna do 10 swings all in a row, and then we're gonna do five overhead press, back to back. So you're gonna see how that feels. And then I'm gonna explain the EMOM, we're gonna go through it. So, 10 swings, five overhead press, no rest in between, go. Back, firing up the swing, two, lats are tight, three, four, five, six, One, glutes are on, two, three, four, five. Okay. So what's happening is at the top of every minute, we are gonna do 10 and five, and then you have the time that, you t that it takes for you to finish is what you have left. So you're gonna rest for however much time, and then you're gonna begin the swings again at the top of the next minute. Don't worry, I will remind you of what is happening so that you're not lost. But what I'll say is, when in doubt, if you need more rest, or your, uh, your, your technique is suffering, you can rest a little bit longer. So, get your water ready. Make sure we're not really gonna take a break for the next 10 minutes. So, make sure you're ready to rock. We're gonna go 10 minutes of doing five swings, 10 overhead press, and then as we go through it, if you have light weight, I'll show you how to make it more fun, a little bit more challenging. If you have a pad on the floor for your knees, that would be a good thing to have. All right, starting in three, two, one, and go. We're rolling. Glutes on, 
four, five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so transitions matter. You have about 20 seconds left of rest. That was one round. So we're gonna do nine more. On this next round, I'm gonna to attempt to make my overhead presses a little bit more challenging by kneeling. Go. Lats on, on the swing. Chest stays up, exhaling the top six. Yeah, yeah. You can kneel on the ground. One, two, glutes on, three, four, Five. Whew. That will make it more challenging, just a little bit. Hopefully you have soft enough carpet or something. That's two rounds down. We're coming in on round three. So, if you've got, well, it's time to go. Focus on that lat tension. Four, five, six, seven, Yeah. Woo. All right. One, two, three. Glutes on. Nice work, Steve. Nice work, Heather. Good work, Reba. All right. Coming up on round four. It's important to get done efficiently so you have rest in three, two, one, and we're moving. Yes. Woohoo. Good job, Warriors. All right. So, as you can see, the demand gets more challenging as you go. If you are resting too much, you can add a couple of reps 11 swings, 12 swings or six overhead press. We're going again. On the downhill portion of the training. This is the sprinting part. Using your whole body, taking up a lot of energy. We're doing great. We're starting in five, four, three, two. All right, we're moving. Yes. 
One, two, three, four, glutes are on, five. All right, warriors, good work. Remember, every rep matters. When you're standing up from the swing, exhale forcefully, squeeze your glutes, rib cage down. Get every piece of training you can from your repetition. Starting in three, two, one. Moving. Five reps. Glutes on, rib cage down. One, two, three, four, five. Ha! All right, Warriors. You weren't looking, but I was around seven. I was around seven. So we're coming up around eight. Only three rounds left to go. Starting in five, four, three, two, and we're moving. So you're challenging yourself, keeping the reps authentic. Two, three, four, five. All right, two more rounds to go. Two more rounds to go. Really taxing metabolic systems, really working on that explosive power and strength, letting everything recover a little bit, so we could be strong once more. Five, four, three, two, go. Yes. Okay. Final stretch. Moms, so much fun. We're coming down. Last set. You can be tired, you just can't act tired. Every rep's a masterpiece. Don't stop. Starting in three, two, those reps staying tight through the whole core going overhead one two three four five all right all right so grab some water So everything it will be still challenging throughout the rest of the training. That will probably be the big, the big challenge. Now we're gonna work on some core stability and shoulder strength here. So this drill 
This is about, we're gonna hold the weight in an overhead position. My rib cage is gonna be down. So I'm going to be in a quarter squat and I'm gonna step back and forth, controlling my rib position the whole time. So weight doesn't have to be heavy to be real. Rib cage down, we're gonna go back and forth with bent knees. Now, if that gets too heavy, you can obviously just drop the weight. If you don't have any weight, that's still okay. Because as you'll find, holding your, your arms up could be a challenge in and of itself. Nice work, Steve. Now bend the knees, rib cage down, get a little lower to the ground. It's gonna help you. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go for 30 seconds at a time, and then we're gonna do some stretches and balancing drills to kind of help our hips out in between. So 30 seconds of work is all it's really gonna take. And then we're going to rest, almost get a full recovery, but we'll be stretching while we do it. So we're gonna do things like hip flexor stretch, Cossack, frogs, we're gonna do all kinds of good stuff for the, the lower body while we're training the upper body and the core. So get your water, get ready. We're gonna be busy for the next 10, 15 minutes. Starting in three, two, one, and go. So we're overhead. Rib cage down. I'm gonna be in front of you. I'm just gonna be moving back and forth. Notice how it's a challenge, right? To keep the rib cage down, knees bent, everything overhead. Go slow, we're not rushing, we're not rushing. Stepping, rib cage down. I'm already shaking, that was 30 seconds. Okay, good. Now, we're trying to let our upper bodies rest. So now we're going to, we're gonna mobilize our lower body. So I'm here on my knee, and I'm going to just squeeze the glute, push my hip forward just like we were doing it earlier. I'm a lot looser now than I was at the beginning of this, which is great. Then we're gonna switch sides. Same thing for the other side. Even on my tight side, I'm still a lot looser than I was a minute ago, which is great. That's good, that means we can do other stretches and more fun stuff. All right, we're gonna go back to the overhead in five, four, three, two. Okay, I'm overhead. Good, rib, rib cage is down, staying low. Moving around. You'll notice that the movement makes it harder to keep that position ideal. Everything wants to flop around. Everything wants to ride up into your neck. Rib cage down, bend the knees, lock out those elbows. Whew. All right, that was 30 seconds. Now we're back on the ground. So we're in the Cossack now. So I'm going to, staying tall, I'm just gonna be flexing the glute of my left leg while my right leg is out. And I'm just opening up that hip. Just whatever we're doing, it's working. I feel, I feel like I'm ready to run a race right now. Switching legs. Oh yes. Flexing that glute as I stand up on my knee. Oh. Nice. All right. So staying loose and mobile starting in three, two, one. Okay, we're back. Rib cage is down, move it to the left, move it to the right. Most importantly, knees are bent, 
Rib cage is down. Just going back and forth. My hands want to drift forward. That's natural. It's natural for everything to want to come apart here, but we're going to go slow. Keep correcting. Three, two, and then we're done. All right. So now we're on our backs. We're just going to do some hamstring mobility. So I'm switching left leg, right leg, opening up that hamstring. Ow. Locking out that leg, trying to touch the floor with the heel. Spine is resting flat on the ground. Yeah. Whew. Ah. We're not going for reps here. What we're going for is just movement practice. Movement practice. Notice how I'm not trying to blow up my shoulders. That's what this is for. All right, we're back. Starting in three, two. All right, rib cage down, knees are bent, straight up overhead. Stay in my, keep my butt low. Don't forget to breathe. It's really easy to not breathe when you're doing this. Elbows straight. Woo Rib cage down. Boom. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do some calf work. So I'm going to practice rocking from my heels up on top of my toes, heels toes and when I come up high I'm going to put the pressure on the inside of my foot and see how my legs want to bow out I want to prevent that by where I'm putting my attention when I'm coming all the way up yeah all right that last inch at the top with the calves that's everything that's the inch we don't use very much that's where we're building ankle stability, real strength. All the way up, down, up, if you can pause it. All right, we're grabbing our weights again. And then we're back overhead. So I'm going back and forth. We've got five more rounds. Just working those shoulders nicely. Shrugging those shoulders up to the sky with the rib cage pulled down, keeping those knees bent, moving laterally. You'll notice that your shoulders start to burn, and you know, just a little bit after they start to burn, that's when the round is over. Okay, we're here, we're working on our knees and ankles again. Knees, feet together, knees together. Don't put any pressure on your knees but I want you to rotate. Just move those ankles around and then clockwise, counterclockwise. And then note to self, if it hurts on one ankle, if it hurts on one knee or burns in one place, doesn't burn on the other one, just take stock of it, become aware of it. Excellent. And then we're going to do one more calf exercise here, but not in this round, in the next round. So we're going to go back to the overhead press, starting in five, four, three, two. We're up, rib cage is down. Going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Nice. So my elbows want to flex. So I'm trying not to let them flex. Oh, okay. So this is going to be a bit of a burner. We're going to go here. 
onto the floor. We're going to kick up into this A-frame position, feet apart, and you're going to pedal. So I'm pedaling, I'm stretching those calves while I'm in that overhead position. Trying to touch those heels to the floor. Now, I want you to come back up and just give me a few reps of the calf raise again before we get started with our next round. All the way up on the tippy toes, coming back down. All the way up on the tippy toes, coming back down. Try to get a little bit higher than you did before. Just a few reps, just to use those muscles in that new range of motion. We're grabbing the weights. We're going back overhead. And go. Rib cage is down. Holding everything up. Keep those knees bent. Lock it out the elbows. Don't forget to breathe. You can really feel this in my shoulders, upper back, especially as I try to lock out those triceps and return. Yes. Okay. So we're here and we're going to continue to work out those shoulders. We're going to rotate them. So I'm taking a knee, flattening my back. And all I'm going to do, arms out, I'm going to reach forward, pull shoulder blades back, elbows don't unlock, forward, back, up, down, up, down. Notice if your hips want to help you, you got to lock them up. Make sure you're keeping everything tight. Forward, back, now big circles. Circle everything. Circling, circling, ha ha. The other way, woohoo. Speaking of shoulders, we're starting our next round. Back overhead. Knees are bent. Nice work, warriors. Ha ha. Rib cage down. Holding it up. Holding it up. Holding it up. Whew. Drop them. All right. And scene. Grab some water. So <clears throat> now it's time to focus on the abs and the glutes. So we're going to do a series of side planks and planks. We're going to go from the front plank to the side plank, back and forth. We're going to do everything for 10 seconds. So we're going to do left, left plank, right plank, front plank for 10 seconds only. So we're going to squeeze. We're going to create tension. It looks like this. Here's a chance to play. So left plank, flexing that fist up high, getting tight. We're going to squeeze really hard, feeling that tension in the lat and the abs. Your butt's trying to come to the ceiling. Then we're going to go to the other side of the plank, right side. 10 seconds, squeezing that fist. Everything's on, reaching up. Then we're going to go to front plank, feet and knees together, nice and tight. So because we're squeezing so hard, we're only going to do a few rounds of this. We're trying to drain all the tension, all the energy out of those muscles. So left plank, right plank, front plank. Then I'll take, we'll take a short break, but we're going to go kind of rapid pace through this. So I want you all to stick with me. So we're going to go for four rounds, starting with the left plank in three, two, one, go. All right, making a fist, head back. We're only going for 10 seconds. We've got five more seconds. Three, two, boom. Now we're going to the other side. So right plank. And we're going for 10 seconds. Hips up, head back. 
Squeezing that fist, keeping that tension going, and front plank. Now I'm feet and knees together, starting now. Glutes on, everything's going. Five, four, three, two. Squeezing those knees together, rest. So everything is about accumulating tension. It's challenging, I'm shaking. I know you're shaking, we've done a lot of stuff today. So we're gonna take a short rest just to let your body get ready to rock. And then we're gonna go back into the left plank again. And remember, we're trying to increase the amount of tension. We're gonna, that's why we're squeezing our butts and our fists, starting in five, four, three, two, and we're going. Everything's up, stitching down those ribs, squeezing, 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 boom, right plank. And up. So, right plank, squeezing, glutes forward, head back, and then front plank. Squeezing your shoes together, knees together. We're tightening everything up. Squeezing, squeezing, tug of war between the elbows and the toes. Three, two, one, boom. 10 seconds can be a long time or a short time. That was round two. So we're gonna do this two more times. We're gonna try and squeeze all the juice out of our abs before we get out of here. So we're gonna begin again with the left plank. Starting in five, four, three, two, boom, up, squeezing everything tight, yeah, and right plank coming up, hitting it, squeezing that fist, head, head back, hips forward, we're going to go to the front plank now, tug of war between the toes and the elbows, clock's ticking, glutes on, keep everything going, five, four, three, two, one, all right, three rounds down, so you should be feeling this in the muscles that you're activating, lats, when you're creating that seesaw effect, pulling those, uh, Elbows towards the toes. Obliques, for sure, especially when you're on the side. This is our last set, so we will finish strong, starting in three, two, one. Locking out that hand, head back, butt forward, hips away from the earth. Squeezing everything you got. Whew, switching sides. Or on the right, head back, making that fist. Three, two, one. Front plank, tug of war, and go. Clock's ticking, glutes are on, everything's on. And scene. Yeah. All right, so we've just got the abs working. It's time for dessert. We've got new movements for, new movements for this uh, upcoming month in June, but we're gonna do one final round of our May dessert, which is Cos Cossack Lunge to Stretch four point hip mobilities and the archer. So I'm gonna lunge out to the side, dropping down, standing up, lunge out to the side, stand up, that's one. So we're gonna do 10 with the left, 10 with the right. Butt down, coming up, butt down, coming up, boom.
three, four. I don't know what it is about this workout, but my hips feel so much better now than they did when I started. I was a little achy this morning. really add up. When you're lunging, make sure not to take too large a step. You want to be able to control your body. If you're flopping, probably step it too far, trying to do too much with one movement. Okay, the four point mobility. We're here on the ground, back is flat. Knees are up off the ground. One, one. I'm touching the inside of my shoe, pushing out through my pinkies, trying to not let my back round, but to make my hips do the work. So I'm staying low to the ground and just moving my knee to the outside so I can get to where I want to go. Yes, that's right, Steve. It's okay to be tired. It's okay to be tired. We just can't act tired. And finally, the archer. We're here. Hands on the ground, feet apart. I'm going to draw my hand up my body, come up to the sky, come back down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. up, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> Whew. what the French toast, what a brilliant way to start the day. I don't know what it was about that. Maybe it was the planks, maybe it was something, but I, I felt really strong there at the end. That, uh, that Imam almost got me, but uh, it did work out. But speaking of getting gotten, stick together. The bulls were more worried about who was offending them, who was right. If you've ever had a brother or sister, you probably have a lot of time yeah, getting beat up by somebody close to you about something silly, but that's what that was, that, that was their demise. So working together to accomplish the mission, to thrive despite the lions that are preying on us, that, that is the moral of the story. Continue to work together to continue to be strong and continue to bring forth the warrior within. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Nice work, everybody. That one was hard. 